Ladies and gentlemen, today I present to you the greatest thing that Redneck Engineering has ever produced, the floating semi-truck. Load up boys, time for taking! This looks even more ridiculous from here. <laughs> when you give a mechanic a semi truck, a pontoon, and I'm just gonna go ahead and guess a few adult beverages, <laughs> he comes up with one of the craziest designs I personally have ever seen, which is a legitimate, I mean, this is a real semi truck floating on a pontoon. It's pretty crazy. This boat and or truck has a lot of cool features. And one of the most important features is the big old sticker on the door. This was built by MNC Marine. Their phone number is right there. And they were kind enough to let me borrow this for the next few days, but actually just trust me enough to not even ask what I was gonna do with it, which is brave if you've ever seen my videos before. They wanted me to let you guys know that this bad boy is actually for sale. That's right. So if you want one of these for yourself or you wanna put anything on pontoon, school bus, Lamborghini, ice cream truck, I might steal that one. <laughs> then just hit them up and shoot them a text. You know, get started on your build. Yeah, guy, what would you name this boat? Truck. What would you name this truck boat thing? Looks like a Brutus. I kind of like Brutus. All right, we're going to use Brutus for right now, but drop some comments on what you would name Brutus. So we're going to be diving. We're going to be treasure hunting. We're going to be doing some catch and cook action, but we're going to put all of that on a pause right now because I know you guys are itching to see the inside of this thing. So let's do a proper semi truck pontoon tour. All right, so of course we have the big old grill here. We actually have these lights and apparently they are functioning lights. The guy that lent this to me said all of the lights work. Obviously it's daytime, but all of the, like the marker lights, all of them work. And the cab of this truck is actually the truck that he learned how to drive on. So how freaking cool is that? You've got one, two, three tri-tune, which basically means this thing is gonna ride like an absolute dream on the water. The wheel wells have been reinforced so you can step on them. You got the big old silver cans, which if you're a trucker, you probably knows what those do, but I'm just a YouTuber guy, so I have no idea, but they look freaking awesome. It does not come complimentary with a golden retriever. If you want him at this point, he has been a menace to society. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> we got BJ and Corey. I didn't even tell you guys uh, that the nautical bros are here, but they're here. This is the part when I really know that I'm on a truck. These doors right here. Big old heavy duty doors, just like you would expect. I mean, this really is a true semi cab. Hello, inside. We have this monster steering wheel here. This thing is uh, pretty freaking ridiculous. Then we've got a plethora of buttons and stuff that were on the dash, so there's the fan button, which that's my favorite. It actually works, which is nice because this whole area is a no wake zone, so you can't actually drive fast and get some wind. It does come complimentary with lit cup holders, and of course, this is everybody's favorite button. It's the semi truck horn, but I'm not gonna press it because my dog absolutely hates it. Right here behind me, you might notice one of the most ridiculous sound stereo systems. These are like all the amps and stuff. I'm not a big stereo guy, but this thing bumps. And due to copyright music, we're not gonna be able to thump those speakers. All of the windows work, which I think is absolutely amazing. Now to the back platform of the boat. We're standing on the old cooler right now, but we've got tons of seating and we've got a bunch of gear, and we've got speakers just laced up everywhere, as well as a brand new Merc on the back of this bad boy. So she gets after it. All right, so <laughs> we got the Nautical Bros, and we got Jay Gab, my spearfish partner. All of them have underwater fishing setups. <laughs> hey, excuse me. C come back to the party, buddy. All right. Wow, the Nautical Bros and Jay Gab try to catch fish underwater for dinner. I will be trying to treasure hunt, and just fine iPhones. Either way, we're gonna be in a semi truck and it's gonna be a good time. Here we go. Oh my God, Jayad. Don't lose him, don't lose him. Oh my God. Oh my God, he's huge, he's huge. Oh my god! Oh my god, dude. That is amazing. Dude, I want, there was like five of them with him, and the worm was just like slowly sinking, and one picked it up, spit it out. Another one picked it up, spit it out. And this one picked it up and just... This whole thing just disappeared. Dude, that is absurd. Little baby bluegill hook, dude. 18-wheeler <laughs> fishing on the riverbed. That's right, bro. That's right. I'm hooked. 
How? My first underwater fish. Oh, that's your first? Yeah. Oh my gosh, dude. You are just, you're lucky, man. Cause my first was like, like this big, dude. <laughs> We're probably not going to catch and cook this guy. I was thinking bluegills. I wasn't even thinking bass, but look inside of his mouth. He's got a leech in his mouth. That is probably the grossest thing I've ever seen. Leeches in the mouth. I don't like the fact that I'm out here swimming in that and I'm all up in the grass treasure hunting while you're just catching giants. All right. Tax. Yeah, yes. <laughs> tax is Fish complete. tax has been paid. Oh, 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 oh no, he took off, brother. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, dang. Okay. All right. That is amazing. Now we just need a big old bluegill, dude. We got to be eating that guy. All right. Where are we heading, Captain? We are heading down the river. We are going to put you on the mother load. All right, we're going to start trying to find some treasure. The boys have already caught some fish here. We're just drifting. We're going to start going down river and there's a notorious treasure spot where I'm going to hop in, scuba dive, look for treasure and the boys are going to continue to fish. If uh, they don't catch enough fish for a catch and cook, there's a place called Swampies and it's a really good restaurant right on the river. I guess you could consider it a truck stop or kind of like a drive through for food. I think it'll be a lot of fun, but I am trying to stay out here until it gets dark so we can turn on all the lights. I think that'll be epic. Look at that big old bass down there. Oh my gosh. Hey, thanks buddy. Thank you, man. <laughs> the first floating truck you ever seen out here? Yep. <laughs> Wow, man. Look at how beautiful this water is, seriously. You got all this luscious grass. It's so, so, so pretty. You got all these sand pockets. And then you got two of my favorite rednecks, the nautical bros. <laughs> I honestly, dude, I swear, man, you guys in there, I know you guys are some of the best builders of all time, but you guys definitely could have been truckers in a, in a past life. Oh, I mean, I do have a class A CDL and been driving big trucks my whole life. Okay, all right. Well, this then, feels natural to yeah. us for some weird reason. No, it looks so perfect. That's why when you were like, who's gonna drive us? Like, I got it. I need one of you guys to just get a, a big old dip cup and just dip spit in the <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly it's kind of the vibes you know you're just out here just brum, brum. oh my goodness you can actually see everything from up here hey brandon yes yes sir you're gonna out. have to do the infamous backflip off of the watercraft you know what you are so right i am gonna have to do the backflip uh it's too bad you told me that as soon as we got to like three foot of water though that is hey guys awesome. <laughs> thank you <laughs> thank you so much man you guys stay on the right side of the road we won't have any problems <laughs> It's got to be so weird to try to describe this to someone be like you're never gonna believe what I saw in the water today Yeah, dog's not a big fan of the horn all right, we're getting geared up for the first treasure drop. I'm not gonna lie to you. This will be my first time hopping out of a moving semi-truck. <laughs> but no, this is so crazy. It's, it's a weird angle right here. Looking down, having your feet in the water, and then just seeing like a proper semi-truck. So it's pretty fun. Either way, we've got all of our scuba equipment. We got all our metal detectors, and hopefully we find some good stuff, man. We're not gonna be able to stay here too long because the uh, truck has to stay around me and basically be my dive flag. But I hope we find some good stuff. I'm hopeful. You got one? Yeah. You got a bass? Yeah. Really? Hey, baby, I catch them above water, below water. Wow. You know. What are we gonna eat for dinner? You keep throwing everything back. <laughs> Get out of the truck. You guys kicking me out of the truck? <laughs> All right, I'll see you, boys. All right, here's the fun. Dude, this looks even more ridiculous from here. Woo! <laughs> Woo! 
I need a ride, boys. You think I can get a ride to, to Highway uh, 38? Yeah. <laughs> we didn't have much time because we're fighting the uh, old sun setting. But uh, I got a heavy bag full of treasure. I think BJ can attest to that. Well, I don't know if you guys could tell, but I was screaming underwater because I was excited about my treasure bag. By the way, can I say this might be the coolest place we've ever reviewed treasure? So, listen to the denseness here. That's a thud. That's a thud of a treasure bag. First find, apparently this is the net that the boys could have used to net their fish because they were that small. Is that, is that right, JG? Is this the net you could have oh, used? absolutely. Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I found, this is my first find. I was so excited and I turn around, dude, there are minnows everywhere. I was like, come here, brother, come here. I was trying to catch them. So anyway, here's the finds. As you guys already know, we've got the net, right? Then we've got these guys. We've got this little lanyard. I thought for sure that this there was gonna be an iPhone on the end of this. People just hang their phones on these. So there could be a phone down there that I missed. But then we also have this bungee cord, which is nice because we could actually reuse this. We've got a giant dive weight. This is what was weighing me down, man. Uh, scuba divers, they all obviously come through here. So we found that. Look at this one. The best find of the day. Well, a nice pair of glasses, but they're a little uh, seasoned to say the least. We got a random bolt and then I, I've got something good here. I've got something actually really good, Corey. You know, I, I'm, I'm the proud new owner of a giant red semi truck now, but I am also the owner of a mystery item because I found some keys. And these to me look like boat keys. So I might be the proud new owner of a random boat. So being that this is the first treasure that we have found ever on a semi truck, we have a little bit of a celebratory tradition we do, which is the celebratory backflip on the water. And I think the greatest backflip of all could be waiting for me right on the roof of this semi truck. Oh my God, oh God. Woo! How was that? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hey, buddy! Oh, I got it! I got it! Shoo! I got your hat, JG. Don't you worry. I realized that about halfway through my jump. <laughs> I got your hat. What's he doing? Did he get him? No. <laughs> Dude, he was down there. What happened? Firing him up. You firing him up? <laughs> Are you sure. trying to like, you trying to like box him down there or what? BJ, you stuck in the trees? Yeah. <laughs> You got him? Oh, nice! Nice! Yes, sir! He's got a little fish on him right there. Nice! Atta boy! Atta boy! Way to make us proud! So, we ran into some subscribers. The guy actually does a little bit of fishing, so. I don't know what we're gonna hand them, but we're gonna grab them some, some Guggen stuff. Try to get you hooked up with some stuff, man. If there's some empty packages in here, I'm sorry. I'm just grabbing as much as I can. <laughs> there you go. You got the money bag. Oh, thanks, man. I cool, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, for sure. Let's do it. Hey, if you catch any big fish on those, you gotta tag me. I gotta see it. All right. <laughs> Cool, man. We met some good people and uh, got them even hooked up with some Guggen baits. If you guys want Guggen products for yourself, you want your money bag just full of stuff, you guys can go to the link in the description, GuggenSquad.com. You can actually use my code JIGGIN to save 10% off your entire order. So yeah, just use the code. Or you can just meet me on the river and I will just load you up if I got Guggen baits. Just, you know, ask. I'll hook you up. Hey, drop a gear, brother. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> it's a no-wake zone. We're just like... Still just kind of putting along. So hungry, man. So that's the place we're gonna be eating right up there. I know Reef is ready to get off this boat. What the heck? The cops, brother, they knew we're here. Hello, everybody. <laughs> that is so funny, dude. <laughs> well, I hope you can park good because there's a lot of pressure, bro. Oh my gosh, we got a freaking lot of people. This is like my worst fear ever, dude. <laughs> if I ever was trying to dock a boat and there was this many people watching me, man. Oh my gosh. So look, nobody's good at driving the boat semi truck. It's part of the reason why the nautical bros are here because I didn't want to be responsible for parking this. My arm's <laughs> getting worn out from spinning. But part of me hopes we don't. <laughs> I know. Oh, dude. Then I can rag him about it for days. I mean, I'm not going to give you any intel, bro, because I'm the worst. That's why I'm not driving. Look at us go. 
I had a driver, dude. That's why you're licensed for semi trucks, man. Oh god, dope. There we go. <laughs> we got her. How we doing, Reefer? You doing good? What's that? What? Why did you just do this? Well, like when? When? Or how? Like how? how? Yeah. I mean, well, there was a boat and there was a truck, and they were like, you know, it'd be a great idea to just slap them both together. It's these. These guys right here built it. Yeah, it's pretty wild. All right, well, we made it to Swamp East finally. My pup, he had to go to the bathroom so bad. <laughs> he like literally was standing there being for like two minutes. And of course, you know, he had the whole crowd. So everybody was just watching my dog make a whole stream. It was hilarious. But long story short, we made it to Swamp East. And uh, Corey, he swung this semi right in here. I'm not gonna lie. We would have not been here if it was me driving. I would have just been too nervous. We had a wall of people. There was literally like, 75 people with their phones out recording. So now we're gonna get some food. We get the team here. It's kind of like a little little drive-in pit stop. I'm not gonna lie. I got the wrong thing. BJ, dude. <laughs> BJ's looks <laughs> insane. Bro. Shrimp sausage yeah. and grits. I don't know what you got. I think I was actually making fun of it, yep. and then it turned out to be the best dish. So we took the semi truck. That sounds so weird. That's never gonna be normal to say. We took the semi truck, we came to Swampies, we treasure hunted, we caught fish underwater. Now we're getting a nice bit of dinner. And then after we finish this up, it's time to see if the semi truck lights really turn on. Oh my God, it's doing it. Oh my God, it's doing it. Keep going. Oh my God, there's dash lights. Oh hey, headlights. headlights. Dude, those are what's the that look like? Those are the brights. Really? Oh my gosh, dude, it looks even more ridiculous. Wow. Uh oh, we lost a headlight. That's yeah. Bright. Yeah, we're just gonna have to run with the brights. Oh my god, that's amazing. You know how much that's gonna mess people up looking out their back window <laughs> and being like, there's a semi in the river. <laughs> <laughs> they must have fell off the bridge up there. I don't it know just got doing. like, it was funny before, but it is way funnier now. And I love the actual like red and green navigation lights and look at the anchor light up top. That is so perfect, man. Oh yeah, it just scares the hell out of the dog. Good. All righty. There we go. Now we're trucking. Keep on trucking, some might say. Yo, this is so pimp, boys. <laughs> I was telling the boys that this thing at night is like 98% cooler than it is in the day. I don't know, there's something about the, the like amber lights and stuff going on. It's so freaking cool. Check, check this out up front. Look at those markers, dude. Oh my God, it looks so cool. Let alone the headlights up here. <laughs> you got all the you got the headlights up here working dude you got the orange markers hey this would be good for gator hunting though because you can light up their eyes just with the headlights yeah well i guarantee gators wouldn't be scared of semi trucks you either doing a gator hunting video i actually could imagine matter of fact three likes on this video we'll go gator hunting <laughs> i actually just had a gator tail at swampies too so Maybe we're already tying some, some gator on we'll, this boat. We'll all put in for tags. We get some. All right. We'll have to do that. We'll have to go gator hunt. Three likes on this video. We'll gator hunt off of it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up. The semi boat is back on the trailer. I'm not gonna lie, today was a lot of fun, but the night portion with the lights was just unreal. Ride in, me and Reef were looking at the stars, and I don't know, I think, honestly, it gained a lot of cool points being at night with all the lights working. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, if you guys want one of these, you can hit up MNC Marine. Their phone number is gonna be linked in the description. If you heard the horn, that was my dog, quite literally beeping the horn, letting me know it's time to go. So, he's ready to go. Everybody worked hard today. Thanks to Nautical Bros for coming out. Thanks to JGAD. Nautical Bros channel will be linked in the description below. And that is going to wrap it up for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a fun one. Found some treasure, caught some fish, and just became a semi-truck driver. All right, love you. We'll catch you on the next one. Mwah.